there are people out there who venerate Richard Dawkins. What's the greatness of Richard Dawkins? Richard Dawkins is a biologist and he believes in evolution and he tries to demonstrate just how the fossil record shows the development of spontaneous evolution. And many of you have sent me links to him showing just how great he is, especially when I talked about the development of the eye, that the eye could not have developed in and of itself because there's no way that an animal that is looking for food would even know that there's such a thing as light that can be used to see. It's not something that you have naturally. The ability to hear, the ability to see and to sense are powers that have been given from an outside source, not something that could develop in and of itself. But the person like Richard Dawkins, oh, he understands and he explains and he shows you how these things work gradually over time. So I wish to reiterate the following. If you were to understand the complexities of the DNA molecule and what it takes to change it, and what it takes to make a mutation or a change that is positive, most mutations, most changes in the DNA are negative. In order for that to be part of the genetics and to develop a new organ takes not just billions of changes, but tens of billions of changes in the molecules, the molecular structure of the DNA. And so the possibility for this to actually take place in and of itself, the calculations have been done by several people who were statisticians who understood statistics. And those who understand statistics know that spontaneous evolution to come in and of itself is a mathematical impossibility. That is a fact. It is mathematically impossible for these things to take place by themselves. The so-called millions of monkeys would eventually type a sonnet or Shakespeare's plays is a ruse. It's, it's an impossibility. It's impossible for a monkey to type a sentence even if he gave the monkey a billion years. The monkey would not be able to type a sentence. And this is the reality that exists with random selection or random mutations and the changes that they claim took place in evolution in and of itself. Rather, what is clear is that all of these things that took place were directed by the divine will and the divine wisdom. And no other force could cause that. The reason why there might be developments and refinements is because these things in order for them to become acclimated, if you gave an eye to a bacteria, the bacteria would not know what to do with it. If you gave the eye to a fish, they wouldn't know what to do with it. But when you give organs that are sensitive to light and they learn there's such a thing as light, then in the course of generations they can understand and look for and begin to expect sensitivity to light ultimately leading to sight. You have to acclimate the creatures to this concept and to this experience. And that is what God did if indeed the fossil record is correct. But this is not something that could have happened in and of itself. And anybody who tells you that is a liar and a scoundrel and a very poor mathematician. 
I'm not saying it because I'm a mathematician. The mathematician that I am quoting is Avram Michal Hasofer, who was one of the greatest statistical geniuses of the previous generation, just died a couple of years ago. And his um, formula and his calculations are still out there. And while he was alive, not a single scientist had the temerity, had the, had the chutzpah to challenge his figures. The reason why they couldn't challenge his figures is because they're right. And therefore they chose to ignore them. And those of you who want to believe in Richard Dawkins are believing blindly. You're not really being scientific. You're just believing something blindly. Random mutation, random changes in the biological structure are impossible in and of themselves to cause evolution. If there is an evolution, and I still don't believe, not convinced that really happened, but if there was an evolution, then this evolution was directed by a divine hand, causing things to change slowly so that they could acclimate themselves to the new organs and the new abilities that God was going to show them. Good job, as